Hello, everybody, <laughs> um, and uh, welcome to a little short episode. And this time it will be about the macro uh, lens. Um, well, if you want to have a very close up macro, you can buy a macro lens like this uh, Micro Nikkor 55 millimeter 2.8, or it could be the uh, 3.5 or so. But it costs a lot of money, this one. And uh, I put it on my uh, Fuji XT1 and with an adapter. But um, the other day I well was cleaning up a little and I fell over this, uh, which I actually already have thrown out because hmm, well, I didn't have the adapter for it, so could it be useful for anything? Hmm. Maybe, or maybe not. Um, so by accident, I think, okay, how does it actually look? I mean, the focus is quite stiff, but then I took off the, the front lens group. And um, it was actually very funny because the shape of this cone kind of lens group. The other is just a bag with the aperture, nothing special. But by accident, hmm, I think, okay, can it work on uh, my Fuji? Well, well, if we talk, if we just take a look at how does a, a real macro, macro lens like this working uh, against a little watch? Just a tiny, tiny watch. So how good is it actually? Well, let's have a picture of that uh, close up, as close up as it can. Mm, not really that much. We have to go further out. And it will be something like that. Hmm. Well, the distance was something like, well, around 10, 12 centimeter or so. Um, we'll take a look at it. But uh, I really want to test out this uh, lens, how good it is. So I think, okay, it needs some kind of a protection from lights, uh, from sight lights. So I made a little cover for this. <laughs> and um, so, looks nice and fine. And also on the back, because if we look here, the um, if the lens goes, against the the lens mount well there could be some light coming in so i made a short i mean small um when you say a light shield uh, to protect from light coming in from the side and it's just a piece of foam uh, plastic from the uh, hobby shop Nothing special about that, but it will just uh, protect from sight light light streak. So let's see how we can actually how close we can go to this little watch. So it makes a good protection in the front, uh, like you see here, and looks quite fine. So how can we actually? go close to this watch mm -hmm. yeah I want to have steady hand and of course it's difficult to see the screen
<laughs> Not easy. <laughs> but uh, how does it actually look? Well, let's have a look. This is very close up with this uh, tiny lens. And this is with the, with the Nikon lens. But uh, hmm, yeah, it's quite cheap if you can get some of those Dixie lens. 28mm uh, to 1.8. Uh, and it's a good idea, I think. Uh, but compared to the, uh, the real <laughs> deal, we say, could say, well, it, it uh, missed a little kind of sharpness. Uh, but it can probably be useful in some cases. And uh, if you don't want to spend how much? Hundreds of, I mean, thousands of krona, Danish krona, or maybe hundreds of uh, dollars or so on this uh, lens. Well, <laughs> and it's just a tiny experiment. But um, yeah, it, it can do something. That's all for me. Hope you enjoyed it and can probably use it. That's all for me. Bye bye.